like I feel like it's like my sixth video in this little curriculum planning how I plan my homeschool year from start to finish and today I'm going to be talking about what am I gonna be talking about um, today I'm gonna be talking about history you guys <laughs> so history is not my favorite thing ever and that's just because it wasn't my favorite in school and I wasn't really sure how to approach teaching it um, yeah, so um, I got a lot of really wonderful ideas from you guys every time I mention about how history is not my favorite. Um, and then I've done a little bit of research here and there on how what would be uh, the best fit um, as far as approach for us in history. And I think I might be on to something. So I'm excited about this. So far, how we have done history is um, Bible history. So they have been learning a lot about the uh, figures in the Bible. And for us, that is history. And um, so now that we have moved a little bit further along, I wanted to start getting into some more American history. And just I just wasn't sure how I was going to approach it. I think I might be on to something um, and I just decided that this year we are going to make one really 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 big timeline <laughs> so we're gonna make one big timeline and we're going to use a ton of books to explore different historical figures and then hopefully that'll lead us into exploring different um, events in history and we can draw and add stuff to our timeline and I think I'm pretty excited about it. I think I found a way to be as creative as possible when it comes to history. I just threw out a few people in history that I remembered um, enjoying learning about and I added that to my list of goals in our history section inside of my Evernote planner and then I just um, have in our notes that we're going to just do one large timeline and we're going to discover and fill in over time. And then uh, from that list of goals um, I want to continue on with the Who Was books. We started off with that and the kids really loved it they call it the big face books and they're really excited about reading them just because they are the big face books so if it's not broke I probably shouldn't fix it so um I only did uh, probably a couple of those books last year and I just want to amp it up this year because I definitely feel like we're capable of it and the only thing that held us back last year from moving forward or um or from including more was me so I want to amp it up and really challenge myself. So you're about to see a ton of books in the next couple of videos, but um, you'll, I guess, you'll see why. <laughs> I went ahead and reserved these books from the library just so that I could show you guys what I'm going to be using and I'll just, yeah. The library is wonderful, you guys. It's amazing. <laughs> so I've got my stack of books and I'll just kind of show you the things that I have on my list. Um, of resources to help me with exploring and discovering more about the historical figures that I have listed on our goals list. So another little book set that I found um, last year and we loved was The Ordinary People That Change the World. Um, they're like I Am books, I guess. So we've got the Who Was and the I Am books. <laughs> Who is Genghis Khan? Who was George Washington Carver? Who is Neil Armstrong? And what's really cool about it is that whichever figure that we are that we will choose will be dependent upon whatever unit we might be studying. So obviously I'm going to put Neil Armstrong into our space unit. Who is Jane Goodall, which we've already gotten through half of this book, but I am looking to do a little bit more in-depth approach to who is Jane. Um, to Jane Goodall, so we're kind of doing um, a bit further of a study on her, so I'm really excited about that because I kind of love her. <laughs> so. Who was Albert Einstein? Who was Sacagawea? Who was Louis Armstrong? Who was Amelia Earhart? And so cool because I can just add her to the flight unit. Who was Ben Franklin? Also adding to the flight unit. Who were the Wright brothers? And then I have who was Helen Keller. 
Um, this is the stack of books that I had. I did not get every one, but I just wanted to kind of um, give you a gist of what was what I was using um, before I returned them back to the library. Some of them I had already returned, so I don't have everything with me. But then I have um, The Ordinary People That Changed the World. I am Martin Luther King Jr. And the reason I got the same one, like this one is I am Helen Keller. Um, I like this because I feel like the I feel like the Who Was books are more appropriate for my older son and then I feel like the Ordinary People That Changed the World books are a lot more geared towards my younger son and my daughter. So I think combining these two gives us two resources that we can start out learning about um, Helen Keller and I, I only found this out because this is I had gotten these two types of books for when we were studying Jane Goodall and I noticed that Cameron picked up my oldest he picked up the who was book and would read that with no problem and um, my youngest would read it from time to time but he really enjoyed exploring this ordinary people that changed the world book so I was like you know what I think I'm just gonna go with that so that's anytime I could find one on both of them I've included it and of course there's not as as many of these the ordinary people that change the world so I just got what I could then I, I also have I am Jackie Robinson I am George Washington and I think I also have the two for this is out of order I'm sorry um, I got the who is Jane Goodall again because we are um, still studying her and I'm gonna be doing a video on her um, kind of like a personal project with the kids and then I have the I am Jane Goodall again as well. Um, along with that, I, I like to be able to really dive a little deeper if I feel like I I can and Jane Goodall is just one that I've just been obsessed with. I've just been obsessed with her. <laughs> so um, I just want to do more. I feel like anything that I'm really passionate about, that passion will kind of like explode into their world when I try to relate you know, relay that to them. And so I'm just kind of going with that. So in addition to um, these two, I also found The Watcher. I also found the DVD. I also found the DVD for The Watcher that goes along with, that goes along with the book. And then I have Me, me Jane. And then I also picked up the chimpanzees I love. So whenever the unit comes around and we're exploring a different historical figure or a current figure or whomever, someone that made a difference in history, um, then I'll just add extra books to the mix and other videos and things like that. So I also, um, so we're gonna be starting with Jane Goodall again, because why not? And then we are also going to be we're also going to be covering George Washington Carver and there's a reason for that that I'll explain a little bit later on. So I picked up these books, The Story of George Washington Carver, A Weed is a Flower, The Life of George Washington Carver, In the Garden, In the Garden with Dr. Carver, um, A Picture Book of George Washington Carver, that's basically how we're going to be attempting history with our timeline and plenty of books for us to explore. But anyway, that is what we are doing for history, teaching my multi-grade level children in our homeschool. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was kind of sort of helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up if you like videos like these. Make sure that you are subscribed. And I will see you in our next video.